Hello there, in this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to download and set up your Folly to Line Planner on Android. I'll demonstrate this on the Samsung Tab S7. First, I'll show you how to download and set up the planner with the built-in note-taking app, Samsung Notes. Then I'll show you how to do this with two alternative apps, Kilo Notes and Flexo. Our planners come in different designs and styles, regardless of which planner bundle you purchase. The download and setup process is pretty much the same. To access the links in the planner download link document, you can open it with Drive PDF Viewer or any other PDF Viewer you like to use. The download link will open up your Google Drive app. Navigate the folders to find the planner version you like and click the three dots. Send a copy, choose Samsung Notes. Make sure you choose the one Add to New Note. Wait until the planner is fully downloaded. This might take a while. If it keeps showing you blank pages, force quit Samsung Notes, restart your device, and try again. Now we have the planner opened in Samsung Notes. Tap the title field to give the planner a name. First, to make the hyperlinks work, tap the book icon to turn on read mode. On the copyright page, you may see some info about Google Calendar integration. If you need this feature, check out this video for instructions. Now let me quickly go through how to navigate the planner. Here's the index page where you can go to the lifestyle sections such as wellness, nutrition, note templates, custom sections, etc. You can also go to these pages by clicking on this icon at the top right corner. On the right side, you can click on these tabs to go to yearly calendar, monthly calendars. And on the monthly calendar, you can tap on the dates to go to the daily planning page. And you can tap the week numbers to go to the weekly planning page. From the weekly planner, you can tap the dates to go to daily planner where you can tap the view we button to go back to weekly planner. And at the bottom right corner, you can jump between weekly planner, weekly schedule, weekly reflection, and weekly meal planner. For a complete guide to how to navigate the planner, you can check out this video. I've included the video link in the description. Now you're all set for using the planner. Next, I'll show you how to use the planner with an alternative free note-taking app, Kilo Notes. It's technically not free. You can only have five notebooks, but the free version basically offers all the tools we need for digital planning. Let's download the planner to Kilo Notes. First things first, to make the hyperlinks work, Tap the hand icon to turn on read mode. Now I'll show you how to change the cover of the planner, by which you can learn how to delete, copy, and paste pages in these note-taking apps. Let's download the covers like we did with the planner. Tap the page icon here, choose the cover you like, and click on three dots, copy page. Go back to the planner, go to the index page, and navigate to the cover page. Tap the page icon again, paste page. Tap the original cover and tap delete paper to delete the original one. There you go, we have a different cover for the planner. Now let me show you how to use the free 10,000 stickers that come with the planner. You can see we have different kinds of stickers, emojis, icons, labels, sticky notes, washi tape, words and phrases, etc. 
Choose the stickers you like, tap on it. It will auto unzip. Once it's done, make sure to choose My Files. This is where we want to download the stickers to. And extract. You can find all the downloaded stickers in the internal storage. Now let's go back to Kilo Notes. Choose the image tool and tap on the planner. You can see all the stickers here. As I've organized all the stickers in different categories and colors, you can tap all photos and you can preview the sticker type. Tap the sticker to add it to the planner. The Kilo Notes app itself comes with tons of free stickers. You can download them and tap the sticker to add to the planner. Kilo Notes is a great app for digital planning. The free version basically has all the central tools you need to digital plan, especially if you love using stickers. However, there's a downside about this app, which is it cannot open external links. This means the Google Calendar integration will not work with Kilo Notes. If Google Calendar integration is a must-have for you, you can consider another app, Flexo. Its free version also includes all the basic tools needed for digital planning. However, advanced features like a sticker organizer are only available in the premium version. One thing I want to mention about using stickers in Flexo is that the first time you use this app, you'll notice a picture sign right next to every sticker. To get rid of the picture sign, turn off the annotation marker under view setting. A great feature you want to know about Flexo is you can actually change the background color of the planner to black. So the planner is turned into dark mode, which is quite amazing. I haven't noticed any other apps capable of doing this, and you can change the background color to yellow as well. Here are my final thoughts. Well, Samsung Notes is a decent note-taking app. It's not designed for digital planning because it's kind of hard to use stickers. So unless you are already using Samsung Notes extensively and don't want to use another app or you don't need to use stickers, Kilo Notes is a better choice for digital planning. If you need the Google Calendar integration, try Flexo. I hope this tutorial helps you get started with digital planning on Android. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.